The RX 7800 XT sold out on launch day. Is this the GPU of the year? And is AMD Radeon poised to beat Nvidia with its new winning formula? Let's get into it. The RX 7800 XT is sold out. The reference GPU sold out the same day at AMD store. And by the end of the day, Newegg was also sold out. On the surface, it would appear to be a smashing success. Did AMD come out with a 1440p GPU at the right price point that everyone has been waiting for? Just like the 4090 was sold out at launch last year and was the 4K GPU of choice, is the 7800 XT the 1440p GPU of choice for this year? After AMD announced the GPUs, from the GPU specs, my experience with RDNA 3, and the data they showed, I concluded and said you could expect the 7800 XT to perform between a 6800 XT and a 6900 XT. Hardware and box show that in an average of 15 games, the 7800 XT is 3% faster than the 6800 XT. Tech testers tested 30 games and the 7800 XT is 3% faster. And tech power up is showing that over a 25 game average, the 7800 XT is also 3% faster. So as I predicted, we have no surprises. From the 7700 XT, I predicted the performance to be between a 3070 Ti and a 6800 non XT. And sure enough, hardware and box showed it is 2% slower than the 6800, while tech power up showed it's 3% faster. So the GPU performance for both of these cards came in as expected. We don't have anything new to get excited about. In some ways, it's sad to see the 6800 XT, which used AMD's largest die in Navi 21 and was a 4K gaming GPU, is now demoted to a 1440p GPU using the smaller Navi 32 die. But it is cheaper, and they are sold out. Well, the 7800 is sold out, not the 7700. 7700 is available everywhere. But how well did it sell? Is the new 7800 XT outselling every other GPU? Is it in the top 10? Checking Newegg's top selling GPUs over the last few days since launch, there are three 7800 XTs in the top 100. And the top selling 7800 XT is the 78th best selling GPU. The next one is in position 82. And the third one is in position 86. Compared to the GPU it is replacing, there are seven 6800 XT GPUs selling in the top 100. One is selling in the number 7 position and the other is in the 13th position, much higher than the newer GPU. To be clear, the best selling 6800 XT is in the 7th position and the best selling 7800 XT is in the 78th position. I also checked the Intel Arc GPUs. The Intel Arc A750 is ahead of the 7800 at position 62, and the Arc A770 is ahead of that in position 58. I only point out the Intel GPUs since they are always among the lower selling GPUs. To have a brand new 7800 XT launch behind the Intel Arc GPUs and way behind the old GPU it is replacing in the 6800 XT, does not signal a strong launch. Moving over to Amazon and checking their top selling GPUs, they have five in the top 100. In the top 50, there is one at position 25 and another at 36. The next three are at positions 66, 74, and 79. To keep that in perspective, in the top 100, there are four 6800 XT. One is in the 11th position and the other is the third best selling GPU. For a brand new GPU that's sold out, I really was expecting a 7800 XT to be in the top 10 and to really outsell the older 6800, but that's not what the data shows. For those who are curious, the 7700 does not have one entry in the top 100 best-selling GPUs at Amazon or Newegg. Nobody is buying the 7700. Finally, I checked Micro Center. Micro Center shows not only what is in stock, but how many they have in stock. Here is an example of the typical GPU selection they offered at their stores for the 7800 XT on launch day. This is a snapshot just prior to them opening their doors at 10 a.m. They have nine models, which adds up to 60 GPUs in total. One day later, they sold out of three models. Here is a snapshot the day later, and if you do the math, they have 30 GPUs left in total. 
That means on launch day, at that one store, they sold a total of 30 7800 XTs. And if you sort for the most popular GPUs, there are no 7800 XT models in the top 30. In the top 100, the most popular 7800 was at position 35, and the other at position 65. The others are outside of the top 100. If these GPUs are in high demand, then scalpers would take their bots, buy them up, and list them on eBay. Let's do a worldwide search for 7800 XT on sale on eBay. The search shows four. Just four GPUs. So scalpers aren't buying these things. If you take all the data available and look at the sales positions and quantities available, you would conclude that the reason the 7800 XT is sold out is due to undersupply. Either AIB partners decided not to ship many units, or the retailers did not order many units. And rightfully so, it's likely based on sales from previous launches this year. Does AMD now have a winning formula against NVIDIA? Both GPUs are targeted to the 1440p segment that has traditionally been in the $400 to $500 price range. In other words, in the past, if you wanted a 1440p GPU, expect to save up $400 to $500. Think about the GTX 1070, the 2070 Super, the 3070, or the 3060 Ti, or even AMD's 5700 XT or 6700 GPUs. All of these GPUs would comfortably game at 1440p when they launched, and they all fit into that $400 to $500 price range or even less. With this generation, NVIDIA has completely abandoned that idea and now starts their 1440p GPU at $600. Remember, that is what Jensen told his shareholders last year that he believes should be the average transaction price for his GPUs since GeForce essentially is a game console inside your PC. Not my words, his words, link above. NVIDIA has replaced a 1440p GPU in that segment with a 1080p GPU in the 4060 Ti. As a result, they have completely insulted the tech enthusiast and tech community with that offering. AMD's winning formula is to not insult the community and continue to offer true 1440p GPUs in that $400 to $500 segment. Although the pricing of the 7700 XT does leave me a bit insulted, that price of $449 is a tactic for the classic upsell to get you to buy the 7800. Now Tim over at Hardware and Box has another theory about AMD's pricing. In his August GPU pricing update, he said, Buyers won't be interested in a card with zero price to performance improvement. That's assuming AMD has removed the brain worms. That's it. AMD has brain worms. That could explain it. It's due to the brain worms. However, it could also be part of AMD's formula they used before. That formula is, release two GPUs, price them such that everyone will recommend and buy the high-end version, price the lower-end version so poorly and close to the high-end version that nobody will understand it and nobody will recommend it, then undersupply the market with the higher-end version so that it constantly appears to be sold out and hard to get. Use that sold out status to get people talking about the apparent success of that GPU. Feed the FOMO. Release another block of GPUs, but just enough so that it sells out again. Rinse and repeat until the party is over and the higher end is no longer selling out. In the meantime, those impatient enough and have to have it now will settle and pay for the overpriced lower end version. Then several months later, when the party is over and the higher end one is in stock everywhere, gradually lower the price of the lower end version to what it should have been in the first place. Now, people will be constantly talking about the price drops. Think about it. You have months and months of people talking about how your high end version is constantly sold out. Many people who follow the market will conclude that it's sold out because it's a great GPU. Then, after that, with the lower-end version, you have months and months of people talking about the price drops and how they are becoming a great deal versus what they were before. By the way, if you appreciate this type of analysis and insight, like, share, and subscribe, and let me know in the comments below if you purchased a 7800 XT, like I did, and if it was an upgrade, what did you upgrade from? Newegg already has several models on back order. 
You can already order the 7800 XT from Amazon, but you won't get it for another month. Will you be impatient and settle and buy the 7700 XT? We'll find out in the next couple of months if the 7800 XT is slowly filling the shelves and is constantly sold out, or at least in limited supply. And we'll also find out if by the holidays, the 7700 XT starts to have price drops. It's just months and months of people constantly talking about these GPUs. And if the 7800 XT comes back in stock and is plentiful, then I'm wrong, and we all know that it's simply due to the brain worms. In my last video, I suggested waiting to buy the 7800 XT. However, recognizing AMD's formula is a repeat of the 7900 XT and XTX all over again, you may not see a significant price drop in the 7800 until next year, unless, unless Nvidia is losing enough sales and decides to fight back and drop the price of the 4070 by 20, 30, or even $50 for the holiday season. My advice for the 7800, if you need to buy, buy. If you can wait, wait. Definitely do not buy and wait for the price drops on the 7700. It will be interesting to see how this plays out over the holiday season. I sure do miss the price wars of the past. Let's hope we get at least a mini battle for pricing over the holidays with the 7800 and the 4070. Thank you all so very much for watching. Stay safe and I will see you in the next one.